Let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. A prayer for our earth by Pope Francis. All powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. O God of the poor, help us to rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth. So precious in your eyes, bring healing to our lives, that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the heart of those who look only for gain at the expense of the poor and the earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggle for justice, love, and peace. St. Helens, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit. amen.
Our spring musical this year is about Mother Earth. Uh, throughout the year, our students have been learning about the importance of keeping our environment safe and uh, clean. This year, we successfully completed our outdoor education at Evans Lake. We learned how to protect the environment and also how to enjoy our environment. During the year, primary intermediate grades have been doing different studies emphasizing the importance of our recycling and taking care of our Mother Earth. A few months ago, we received uh, local salmon eggs to grow in our grade four classroom. After the eggs hatch, we are able to release them at the stream near Burnaby uh, Lake. Our grade seven this year been attended the uh, ambassador's program at uh, Ambassade Beach and they learn the effect of plastic on our ocean. Also, grade seven attended online seminars from Banfield and learn about marine sciences and effect of the pollution on, on the creatures in our ocean. I bike to school week was very successful as well. I want to take, I want to thank everybody who participated and make an effort to walk and bike to school. These small differences can make a huge impact on our community and uh, enable us to continue to protect uh, Mother Earth. Tomorrow is our Let's Unite dinner in preparation for 100th anniversary. I hope to see all of you there. If you don't have a, if you didn't register yet, please register online. You still have a, a, a one, a, a one day to do that. The proceeds from this event will go towards the capital expenses. So our dream to build the environmental friendly East Wing uh, 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 can be achieved. I hope 100th anniversary, which is going to be, which is going to take place in 2023, will be beginning of uh, something uh, big. Enjoy our musical. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Update Earth for Rock in the World for our environment. So, Keith, I thought we had a pretty good handle on this whole environmental thing. 
We have, in some ways, Andrea, there have been great strides, particularly when it comes to people's awareness. We simply won't have much of a world if we don't take care of the one we have now. Oh, here's a good one. My cousin Aaron, he's buying an older diesel car and converting it to run on used deep fryer oil. You know, the kind you use to fry french fries in. Can you believe that? Wait, why doesn't he just buy one of those new Teslas? Well, let me think. He's a college student, and the price may be a bit prohibitive. Well, at least the exhaust is going to smell great. gigs in a bus that has been converted to use deep fryer oil. Now that's making a statement about the environment. I hear there's a biodegradable cell phone that has a sunflower seed in it. When you toss it away, it grows a beautiful flower. How do we know who to believe on various different environmental issues these days? One day I read the ozone hole is getting smaller because of efforts to clean up the air, and next time we read the polar ice cap is melting. Who cares? It's the Arctic. I mean, I'm never going there. Let's face it, we all need to keep doing our part. Clean air is great for everybody. Be open-minded, but beware, we've still got a long way to go. Thank you. 
so we don't hear much about the rainforests anymore, or even Earth Day for that matter. The rainforest is not disappearing as quickly as some people thought, but the rate of destruction is still alarming. Remember, rainforests help remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. If we destroy them, it may lead to global warming. I like warm. The beach, surfing, Mexico, Palm Springs, Maui. We like you, Andrew. Andrea, but this is big long-term kind of stuff that may not really affect us, but rather generations of people down the road. Until then, it continues to be important to plant and replant trees. We will now give you the top 10 countdown of reasons why. Drum roll, please. Number 10, it's easy. Number 9, tree planting is fun. Number eight, trees conserve energy in the summer and save you money. Number seven, trees conserve energy in the winter too. Number six, trees make your home and neighborhood more beautiful. Number five, trees help clean our rivers and streams. Number four, trees around your home can increase its value 15% or more. And number three, trees bring songbirds close by. Number two, trees help clean the air. Number one, trees fight global warming. That was so relaxing. It makes you want to go someplace warm. It's just something we need to keep an eye on. Remember, the key word is balance. Speaking of balance, how about we pick the pace up a little here? Speaking of picking up, we have new recycling challenges, you know? What's a person to do if they get a new cell phone plan and it includes a new phone? What do we do with the old ones? Many communities are reprogramming them for the elderly to be used for emergency phone calls and trade them in to be refurbished. Same thing with old computers and televisions. Check with your local recyclers, retailers, and even computer builders' websites. Yeah, baby, you've got to funkify, not junkify. Hit it!
So, my fellow environmentalists, what things have changed since some of our parents did assignment Earth back in the late 80s? Many recycling programs, sometimes called blue bag programs, are established in most communities. That's good. There is evidence that the ozone hole is getting smaller. That's good, too. Even my mom takes her grocery bags back to the store and won't accept plastic because you can't recycle it. Some electronic corporations are now including recycling when you buy new electronic equipment. So, there is some good news. A song like that just makes you feel good about what's happening out there. Well, there are good things going on. Yeah, my family always makes sure we turn off the lights so we don't waste electricity. We reuse out my plastic bottles and take our empties to the recycling depot. My family walks and rides our bikes instead of taking the car whenever we can. The problem is we're using more than we're giving back. It's called ecological debt. Humanity is consuming natural resources at a pace 20% faster than the Earth can produce them. We all have to ask ourselves, are we doing all we can? Are we?
tell everyone we've got to keep moving ahead. Everyone doing their little part. Read the newspapers for new information. I'm surfing the net for my info. Always look at both sides of each environmental issue. We have to strike a balance that is sustainable. So let's keep on keeping keep on rocking the world, world for our environment. environment.